Hi, welcome everybody. Today's video finds us over here in Utatani. And we're gonna check out, and I'm gonna say it really bad, we're gonna check out what Upa Sarawana Ram, <laughs> or as the locals call it, what boat. It has a couple other names. Anyway, this is a temple that was built around 1781. And it has an interesting moon drop and has some murals and uh, Sita Buddha and some uh, pretty cool different uh, styling. It has Ayutthaya, Sukhothai, and Bangkok era styling all involved in it. So anyway, let's go uh, across the river here. I'll show you around a little bit and uh, let's take a look at this. So Uta Tani is kind of off the touristy trail. Not too many tourists come over here, which is a shame because this is a cool little area. This is the Saki Trang River or what? Saki Tang River. And you can see down here, these guys have some floating houses and they're uh, farming right here on the river. And the water level is quite low. I was reading that in the old days, this had bamboo and was quite, quite nice. And they've came in and they've uh, dug the, the bank up and put this concrete walkway and concrete uh, little path over there and you can see they still have some of the floating houses and this is Utatani. It's a quite a cool old town. Came over here last night we went to the market and I made a video of the old town market and uh, this is where we're gonna go. We're gonna cross this little bridge and we're gonna go over there and this bridge is cool. It goes right from the market right over here to this temple or you can uh, drive inland around through the rice paddies and everything. And you can see that uh, pedestrians and motorcycles come over this little bridge. So you have to be careful, the motorcycles will come. So there is the temple. So you have the Weehan right here on the right. Then the Ubisot or the boat is over there on the backside. And then this is this little octagonal shaped moon drop. And it's just right here on the shoreline. And it looks like this does flood. So I'm not sure why they uh, built it so low here. But you can see they built it up on a brick like pedestal to raise it up but I saw some uh, signs of uh, where the water level reaches and it's going to flood this temple but it is what it is it uh, floods most of these places in Thailand so we'll go in and we'll take a look at this wee hand first and the first thing that I saw was all of these murals that are painted right here on this side so we'll look at the wee hand and we'll look at that ubisot and then we'll go in the back and look at that little moon drop with the spiral staircase Right here, this is a great look. So this is an elevated base. They put brick down and then they raised these up about four feet or so. So you can see this wee hand right here. There's the moon drop and it has these kind of cool looking little chetties. And then this uh, ubisot or ordination hall. So we'll look in here first at these murals. So you can see the murals here on this wall. Oh, this is fantastic. So I don't know how old these are on this outside wall. I mean, they're probably not super, super old, probably painted like Rama 5, Rama 6 era, because if they're outside, this will fade really, really bad. And you can see what kind of shape they are here on the bottom. And then they have uh, the wooden doors and the high threshold. And this is inside here. So this is the main Buddha. And then the smaller Buddhas, they have a footprint. And then you can see all the murals around. Now, the murals are pretty faded down low. And the reason why they start fading so bad is people touch them plus ground moisture comes up and causes the, the paint to deteriorate. So usually when you go into these old halls, the, the bottoms will be in terrible shape. Now what they have here on the bottom of this one, this is the Buddha hell. So you look here, this guy's had kind of a rough day. He's been decapitated, his body is uh, in pieces. He has some wolves ripping his arms and legs and everything. And then to me, it looks like behind the Buddha, if you look, this looks like might have been like the fortifications of Ayutthaya. I could be wrong about it, but it has like a, like a fortress wall. And then if you look here, this actually looks like some foreigners. You see the hats and stuff, that's a different style than what the ties would have been wearing. And then over here would be uh, 
maybe the palace and stuff like that. I'm not sure. Yeah, if I'm wrong, feel free to correct me in the comments. I'm just uh, kind of speculating. And then they have the seated Buddhas all around and more of the murals. And then this back wall here has the, has the Buddha story. Yeah, this is a really nice hall. Okay, let's go over into that Ubisoft now. Now that Wee Hand was nice, let's go into this little ordination hall. You can see the styling is Ayutthaya styling. This would have been built, 1781 would have been like right around the start of the Bangkok era. I think the Tonbury era with King Taxon ended by then. I can't remember exactly the dates. This has the high threshold also. Oh yeah, this is really nice. So there is the main Buddha. And then they have some more murals, everything here. Oh yeah, I really like these. They have a bell here that you can ring. Okay, so let's take a look at some of these murals. We'll look at a little bit of the detail. So these are showing you the scenes of the daily life. So you have uh, people riding elephants and on some horses. And they're just doing stuff up in the city. They're in like a little courtyard. You have scenes of like a Buddha starting like a sermon. So right here you have uh, some of the monks that are right here and then some of the people and they're listening to the, the sermon. You got like little rabbits jumping around, all kinds of stuff. Yeah, the styling in here is nice. It's uh, definitely a newer style than what you would have seen like in the Ayutthaya days. And then over here, they have like war elephants and they have like the, the fish and they have some more people that they're fighting over there. It looks like some more war elephants. Now what's cool in here is the, the main Buddha. It's kind of built up against the wall. So you have actually more space in here. Most of the time, the throne that the Buddha sits on is just so massive that it takes up half of these halls. But here they kind of compacted it. So here you got some people down on the river. They have some little boats. The guy over here is fishing. And then some of the scenes of the Buddha up above. Yeah, this is a nice hall. It's definitely worth a, worth a look in here. And then you see that main shrine there or the main mural. Okay, let's go look at that little moon drop now. That will be our last building. And then there are some old boats, some of like the antique Thai boats out back. Maybe I'll show those right at the end. You can see one of the chetties there. It's the, the bell with the spire up top. And this one here is a little different styling, it has the seated Buddha. And one over here is like a octagonal with a bell and the spire. You can see this is the ordination hall, it has the marker stones out here. And it has a couple smaller little chetties, probably with the ashes of some people. And this is the most interesting building out of all. It's definitely some interesting styling. Right here at the bottom of this, this is that ordination hall, it has some Thai numbers there. Which, uh, what does that say? 2420. This year is what, 2566. So I'm not sure what's in here, but we'll see inside. Check out the window shutters. I really like this styling. And then here's the little spiral staircase that goes up. This is the, the Western style here in this, in this hall. Let's go up and see what's inside here. Kind of a cool looking stairwell. Now it's super, super hot. Ooh. So let's see what's inside here. It looks like a little shrine. It's kind of uh, different than what I thought. So it has like this wooden thing inside. It has wooden floors. And then it has some of their, their little sacred Buddhas. And it has an alms bowl. And then this is on the other side. Looks like they just have some stuff for uh, there's a window over here, but they just have some cleaning supplies sitting in there now. Yeah, this is different than what I thought, but it's kind of a cool view here. That's the Wee Hand and the Chetties. 
in that little ordination hall. And then it has some more temple buildings over there for the monks. And you can see the styling of it right here. Yeah, it's cool. I like this building. It's kind of just plain inside. I was uh, surprised that it wasn't more in there. And you can see the bridge and going over into the market and the old town. And here's a motorcycle that just crossed. Yeah, the murals that they put on the outside in that plaster are pretty cool also. You can see the Buddha right there. It has kind of like the, the Khmer prong above its head and then some other stuff up above the door. Over here they have a few shade trees. You can see they have like the prayer wheel and then they put like little shrines that are starting to get grown up around that tree. And then they have these others over here also. Yeah, you can see this tree here. Check out those roots. And then they put these alms bowls. That's what the little Buddha monks will go around with in the morning and they'll collect donations up. And they've just put them here. Maybe they're wanting the tree to kind of grow around them also to kind of be like the, uh, the face at Wat Mahat in Ayutthaya. You can see here, they got some more of the shrine stuff. So this is kind of cool. They got a display over here showing the, what the river used to look like. And it used to be like floating markets and stuff. And then they got some of these old style boats. Check that out. So these would have been used on the river. It has curtains and everything on it. They're kind of getting a little rough. They're just sitting up out here kind of in the elements, but it's still cool to see. And then they have a drum and then another one. So they put that thatch, they weave that thatch and that's what kept them out of the sun. And they have a couple more. Now this is a working temple. There's uh, some more temple buildings back over here. And you can see the water level up here on these. This is quite a ways away inland and it still comes up almost to the bottom of that second floor over there. So the river really, really gets high. And then underneath this, they have some more of the old boats. So you got the small ones. Those, the monks used to go out and those in the morning, they'd paddle around and get their alms. And then I'm not sure what they would have used this for, maybe like a tourist boat, but it has curtains on it. So it looks like it's been redone. And then it just has kind of a wooden inside. <laughs> That's cool. And then you can see they've done the little wooden molding around the top. Yeah, this is nice. And they're just sitting out here underneath these buildings. And one more here. Pretty good size one and some more small ones back underneath there. And then this is where you come into the temple. The monks are over here and people are making donations and stuff. And one of the monks was talking to me in English a little bit, which is pretty fun. All right, guys, that's going to finish our video over here at Wat Upo Sataram, or however you say it, as the locals call it, Wat Boat. This is a nice temple. It was built in uh, 1781. And the buildings that you see here, the three main ones are the ones that are really cool. They do have some other buildings, but we're not going to go and look at them, the modern stuff. I, I like the old, old stuff. So anyway, uh, if you like the temple, you know, smash the like button. If, uh, if you've been here or if you want to know anything more or want me to go see something different, leave me a comment down below and I'll go try to make a video of it if, uh, if I can. And uh, definitely if you know more about this temple than I do, tell me down below. It was kind of sketchy on what there was online and then I might have forgot something of, about it while I was doing the video. So just tell me that in a comment down below. And if you're new here, subscribe, stick around, and then you're notified whenever I post a new video. I do a lot of videos, so if you uh, like stuff like this in Thailand, then uh, you're at the right place. So uh, anyway, until next time, from over here in Uta Thani, remember guys, life is a journey. Enjoy. Enjoy.